Rodrigue. Over the line, Van Ness, the Dutch player, gave it away in the middle, and now sprinting ahead is Maggie Burbage, the freshman. Burbage's backhand off the shoulder, rebounds up in the air. Where is it? It's in the net. The Colonials have scored. An early goal for Robert Morris. I don't know how it ended up in the net, but it's underneath the goaltender, Filbert. And the Colonials have a 1-0 lead, and the first one to the bench to celebrate is Michaela Boyle, the transfer from Clarkson University. No, it's wiped out, no goal. Garrett Gadosh says that, well, it might have been kicked in. Well, now it's a one on three for Belzil, and she scores from about 40 feet, put it along the ice and sneaked it past the right pad of Singlewald. A solo mission for Belzil makes it one nothing Concordia with 9.03 left in the first. Yeah, Belzil coming in one versus three, got a little bit of room, the Colonials backed off a little bit, and that's all it takes at this level, and Belzil able to make the Colonials pay, but uh, I think that's a little bit of growing pains for this young team, and, and we're going to see that. We saw a giveaway earlier by defenseman. RMU on the advantage, Gebhard. Again, Templeman, back to Gebhard. One time shot that hit a stick, maybe the goaltender's stick. Hard to tell from this angle. Gebhard on the retrieval. Got the puck right back, Le Cavalier center point. Gebhard again running the show. Shoots and scores! JC Gebhard's on the board, puts it under the glove of Filbert, and it's 1-1 with 5.23 left. Picking up where she left up, Mr. Kennedy. Another power play point and another power play goal for Gebhard. Well, Gebhard uh, making no mistake there, just taking that pass on the left flank out of the umbrella and just walked it down the middle and just snapped it past the Concordia goaltender low to that glove side and uh, making it look easy. Nice play there at the hangar in Moon and continues on this afternoon. And what a crazy bounce in front of the net. Maybe it was Klassen, hard to tell who got a touch, if anyone, for Concordia as that shot came on the way. Might have hit a Colonial, in fact. Yeah. Tough to tell without benefit of a replay, but either way, it's 2-1 Concordia. Yeah, wrist shot off the face of, I believe it hit Harley up high, like in the shoulder pad, and just bounced in behind single wall, but uh, a bad bounce there for the Colonials. Atkinson, Olivia Atkinson, backhands it off the wall. It's Bernier, sharp angle shot, and she scores. She goes top shelf on Desmet from below the left dot. And with just a minute and 33 seconds gone in the second period, it's 3-1 Stingers. Wow, a quick developing play there is uh, Bernier coming across that blue line. Got, got to step inside the Colonial defense and then just let a quick snapshot go short side over the blocker of Desmet. And uh, just like that, it's three to one, but uh, no, nice effort there by the Concordia forward. So Bernier gets her first goal of the season. Or let's shoot the puck, Bob. It's, <laughs> it's a pleasure to tell you what. It, she spins it perfectly too as Belzil put it to the front of the net and it's deflected home. Concordia has a fourth. It's 4-1, another little mini two-on-one as they burst in over the line. I'm trying to figure out who that was. It was Belzil, number 17, who went to the doorstep. So it's Belzil putting it in. She's the first through the handshake line. 13.25 left. She has her second of the game, and Concordia with a three-goal lead. Yeah, nice little execution there. Like you said, it's just a play in tight right at the net. And Belzil took the pass on the back end, I believe, and just kind of redirected it. And Gebhard again breaks up a play in the neutral zone. She's going to have Boyle with her. Gebhard looking, feeding Boyle, score! Short-handed goal, Robert Morris. What a beauty of a play. And it's Boyle going right to the front of the net again. She's going to be a popular player amongst her teammates. She keeps that up all season long. It's 4-2. to two. Gebhard gets the assist, the only assist on that one. And that a turnover in the neutral zone, and Gebhard went the other way, a clean two-on-one. Well, not quite clean, they had a back checker, but uh, Gebhard just waited and waited and waited a lot of patience and then just slid it across at the last second to Boyle, and Boyle had the easy job, just had to get that stick on it and tucked it behind Phil Bear. Diffendahl pulls it off the boards, Diffendahl looking to make a play to Templeman and passed it behind her. The two-on-one for the Colonials does not lead to a goal. And now a backhand chance on the counterattack, and Dubois puts it by Kirk, and it's 5-2 Concordia. Isn't that how hockey goes sometimes? 
From behind the Stingers net, Starnino gave it up. Curlette moves in and rips it. Just missed it short side. Wagner on the stop, and it goes in. The Colonials have a third, and it might be Wagner's goal. I think it hit a Stinger in front. They just stuck with it, did the Colonials. They make it 5-3 with 11.51 to go in the third. Yeah, it was Curlet who walked that in from the top of the left faceoff circle. The puck went wide, and Wagner picked it up and just came around the net and did the old stuff play, and it looks like it trickled through the pads and just got over that goal line, it appeared. And uh, it's enough to give the Colonials a third goal and striking distance of... Thompson, the defender, going right to the blue paint again. RMU throwing pucks and bodies, or at least trying to do so. Templeman cutting, taking the pass. Templeman scores a power play goal, and the Colonials have a fourth off the pass from Harley with 5-12 left. It's a one-goal game again. Lexi Templeman, a breakout sophomore performance last year and she's trying to make it a big junior year as she will wear the a for alternate captain the only uh, non-senior if you will to get a letter on her chest and she buries it much like gebhardt's power play goal bob in the first period too much room for a good shooter that's it and uh, good execution again by the power play good puck movement and of course the finish by templeman as she just Blasted that puck past the glove hand. Curlet at the line. That puck just won't behave for her. Eight seconds to go. Curlet's long shot well over the goal. Down to four seconds. Le Cavalier backhand toward the front. Le Cavalier one last chance. Hops around and Concordia survives. It's a final from the RMU Island Sports Center. Stingers five. Colonials 